Hey guys, it's Jordan, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make some really cute DIY stackable bracelets. And I think these kind of bracelets are perfect for the springtime because as you're, you know, like transitioning your closet and wearing shorter sleeves, you can show off your wrists and your stackable bracelets. Let's just get started with this video. So for this first bracelet, you're going to need some colorful cording or hemp twine and some kind of rings or metal shapes for your bracelet. The ring that I had had a little loop on it, so I'm just cutting off the loop so I have a simple oval. Next, I'm going to be taking one color of the twine and folding it in half, and then I'm just looping it around this metal ring and looping the ends back through so that it's tied to this ring, as you can see. And then I took another strand of the twine and did the same thing to the other side side of the ring so that there's twine coming from both ends and then I just taped one of those ends down so I could work on each end at a time. Next I'm taking another strand of the twine and you're going to want to make this one about twice as long as the other strands and then just find the halfway point on that strand and tie a knot around the other ones as you can see. So once you tie a basic knot and it is set on your bracelet you're just going to be creating square knots. All you do is take one strand and create Create a 4 with it or a backwards 4 to depending on which side you're doing and then take the other strand and go over the hemp twine on that side then under the two middle strands and then back through the four area or like that hole that you made then just tighten that knot that you made and then do the same exact thing but on the other side so you're going to create a four shape with the other side and you're just going to do the same thing and loop it over the hemp twine underneath the two in the middle and then back up and through the one on the other side and then pull it tight and just repeat this step it's actually really easy as soon as you get the hang of it. It just takes a little bit of time and then once you get it, it's easy and it goes by really fast. So you're gonna want to continue this pattern until you have a few inches done. You can measure this on your wrist. It should be about half of your wrist. But once you have it about the length that you think you need, then just flip it over, tape that side down and do the exact same thing with the other side. So once you measure that to your wrist and you think it's about the right size, then you're just going to string the two two outer pieces of hemp twine with a one of those thick needles so that it'll go through and then you're just going to take that needle and kind of invert it and put it back up through the bracelet and so it hides the extra strands and I just went up about four or five knots but it's kind of up to you however many you want to go and then just cut the excess off and then finally to put it together you're going to overlap the two remaining strands on each side so that you'll have four and then just kind of compress them together and then take another Another strand and tie a knot um, combining those four together and you're going to create another few stitches of the square knot here and this will just make it so that the bracelet is adjustable. Once you have a few stitches done then just do the same thing with the needle and pull it back up through the stitches so that you hide the ends and then with the two extra ends on each side just tie them in a little knot so that you can pull on the strings and the bracelet will be adjusted. That's literally it. and all the rest of the bracelets are even easier than this one I think it came out so cute though this is by far my favorite bracelet for this next bracelet that can also be a choker or an anklet or a necklace or really whatever you want all you're gonna need is lots of different colored beads and I just got these from Michaels and you can really choose whatever colors you want and then you're also gonna need some kind of stretchy string so I always like to cut my string extra long just in case I need more. And then I am taping one side of it down. Then I'm just randomly stringing on the beads with the other end. And this is completely random. You could totally do a pattern too and it would look super cute. But I just kind of wanted mine to be a little bit more random. And I just made it however long I wanted. Then when I got to the end, I just tied it off and cut off the extra ends. And it... It's as easy as that. And I think I changed my mind about the last one being my favorite. I think this one's my favorite because it came out so cute. For this next bracelet, you're just going to need to get three long strands of one color and then tie a knot at the end and then tape that down to your table. Then just start braiding the strands like you normally would. 
And I have two kinds of beads. I have the really, really small ones and then the other kind of small one. Every time I braid, I'm just going to be adding one bead. So whenever I move a strand to the right, I'm going to be adding one of the big beads. And then whenever I move a strand to the left, I'm going to be adding one of the small beads. So all of the strands on the left should have a small bead and then the right should have the bigger beads. And then you're just going to braid that in normally, but just make sure that you keep the bead kind of where it is where you placed it. But as you see, I'm just altering the beads and adding them as I braid all the way down. And once you get the beaded part to however long you want it, then just braid the rest of the way back down to the end and tie a knot. And there's a bunch of ways to end this. You can add a clasp or you can use the method that we use for the other one so it's adjustable. But I just decided to tie this on my wrist as is. And so it was one of those bracelets that you would just leave on even when you shower and everything and it would just fall off naturally. And I've had this on for a couple weeks and it still stayed on my wrist and I went to the beach and the pool like every day and it still stayed through everything which is pretty awesome. So I just tied it on and I think it looks so cute. So that was the end of this video and if you guys enjoyed it then don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking this button right here. Oh and let me know in the comments down below what stackable bracelet was your favorite. Also you can watch one of my previous videos down here and check out my social media on the side. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you all later. Bye!